Welcome here at artsbydylan.com. I figured I would make a little art video about American politics and interest of mine for a really long time. Now, lots of people tend to think American politics is a straight line equation, linear of left and right, Democrats, Republicans. You pick a side, that's your side, and that's all there is to it. Um, I'm not to say that's wrong. I used to think like that. However, it's a little bit slightly more complicated but yet more simplistic than that because this left right spectrum is too simplistic uh it doesn't get to the heart of the what it means to be uh have a political psychology of americans now one simple way to do it is look at household everyday household household things and use that as a metaphor for example you could use a screwdriver right uh do you just think of americans keep getting screwed by Washington DC by Democrats and Republicans for hundreds of years no matter what side of the political spectrum you are uh, tendency is you, the right side which is the Republican side uh, tend to be a little bit more tidy on it comes to like deficit spending and uh, taxes and they're you know they're righty tidies they're strict constitutionalists when it comes to judicial philosophy right righty tidy and the Democrats they're the leftists they tend to be a little bit more loose when it comes to some things Lefty Lucy, right? Um, when it comes to what words mean, when it comes to like sil like civil rights, they want to like t like loosen up stuff and open things up. Both sides are right and wrong at different times in American history. But you could just basically take one screwdriver and one like lefty righty or <laughs> righty tidy lefty Lucy American politics until you blue in the face. Um, or red in the face. I mean, I, whatever. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's a little bit more complicated. So I like to try to be in the middle and that seems kind of lame in American politics right now, but really this is what it is. You have what it means to be a good person, which is to take care of your family, help them when you can, uh, good person, right? You care about your family, you care about your, uh, you know, putting food on the table, making sure bills are paid, kids are fed, how well clothed. Um, you may go to church every year, every once in a while. You may do some sort of volunteer work once a year to make yourself feel like you're a better person, right? But like, you're a good person, right? That's one way to think of in American, and you don't really care about politics. There's plenty of good people that don't care about politics, right? Uh, just just get the basic things done. Then you have like good American. Now, good American doesn't necessarily mean uh, that you're a good person. Uh, there's plenty of uh, American presidents that were good Americans, but not necessarily the greatest person on the planet. Uh, plenty of good Americans have not been the greatest of persons. Uh, good American does not mean that you're a good Democrat or good Republican. Um, What's good for the Democratic Party isn't necessarily what's good for America. And what's good for the Republican Party isn't necessarily what's good for America. And sometimes the good American and the good, good person stuff are independent from each other. There are, is some overlap, but not, uh, not total. And then you have education right here. And everybody's supposed to get some, quarter, some, some kind of education whether it be K through 12 through high school or college or anything like that. So sometimes education preaches uh, what what it means to be a good American. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes the education and what it means to be a good American is in conflict. Sometimes the education down here, um, like right here, preaches what it means to be a good person, but other times it can make you snobbish and uh, overly sensitive and annoying to other people, and which is not a good person trait. So these three circles of American life <clears throat> are in conflict sometimes, all the time, pretty much on the news. So good American, right? Uh, how to cook barbecue ribs, how to do basic American things like cook a good cheeseburger, uh, enjoy a Philly cheesesteak, uh, you know, good American things. Um, sometimes it's offensive to like an educated good person 
who's like thinks a vegan diet is superior to a meat eater's diet of the red blooded America, right? So it's not that they're not a good person, it's just that they, you know, that's not the best Americanist of them being down here with the educated vegan good person stuff. So when these three things come together, I try to be right there in the middle where that star is, where a star is. That middle where the three worlds of good person, good American, education, to me is when I form my opinions based on facts and history, examples in history that are um, objective, that are not in dispute, that are verifiable that where the numbers match what I say. And when I read the Constitution, I read it for the words that are in there. I understand what the words mean. And if I don't, I look it up to be under to be in line with as much as I can with the US Constitution, which is a good American thing. Now, uh, to get to that middle portion, I had to forget a whole bunch of crap I learned in college. I had to forget a whole bunch of stuff about uh, you know what what democrats version of being a good american was which was like be, basically being like jesus because sometimes i feel like the democratic party only really they come across as like having a problem with the bible at times and like not like their problem well a they have a problem with come they have a bible problem two different ways one way is the particular super politically correct people may not like religious people but that's like them not being a good person type trait. The other problem with the Democratic Party and the Bible is that their version of being a good person is very much like Jesus. Like the Bible's about not liking rich people. Like rich people can't go to heaven and good people go to heaven. So the Bible doesn't like rich people. The Democratic Party tends to always complain about rich people having too much stuff and how they're not good people. And there's plenty of good people that have plenty of money, right? Um, and there's plenty of good Americans. Part of being a good American is starting a business and being successful. So like the, the, that type of coming across in rhetoric for the Democratic Party is, pro is like bibl biblical type thing. And then they like only sort of help people who are super poor, which is like a Jesus thing where he went and like helped lepers and like cured leprosy and like cured the blind and like the disabled and like... So, it, the, the Democratic Party comes across as, like, uh, preaching what it means to be a good person is very similar to what the Bible says about, like, how rich people can't go into heaven and, like, you have to give up all your possessions and help the poorest people among you in order to get into heaven, which is to be a good person. So, like, the Democrats sometimes with their rhetoric and the policies and stuff could come across as preachy in a secular way, taken straight from the Bible. Anyway. Uh, which is somewhat like not really a separation of church and state, which like puts them like squarely in the good person category, slightly forgot some of their education and definitely separated from like the good American part. Cause good American will understand that capitalism is existence in this country and to be a good person and a good American and have a good education and like care about others, but understand that you have to care about yourself too. Um, and just because you have you're wealthy doesn't make you like a horrible human being, or that you should give up all your possessions to the state or the government through taxes, uh, is like a good American principle to have, which is the star that I call sanity, which I try to live in. That's it. That's like if if this helped you figure out what like where your political feelings and stuff are at, uh, I hope it like helps because there's like good people, there's good Americans and there's education. Sometimes all of these three circles are in conflict. Sometimes they come together. And the more you can try to get these three circles of our, like all of our psychologies together to form a Venn diagram, that is like, to me, the best form of Americanist, uh, pro good person, American educated society. And excuse me, psychology. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Arts by Dylan. Hope you liked my graphics and uh, see you next time. Bye.